More! More! Hello there, everybody. It's me, your Star Wars dad, and I am here with my 22-month update for my free-to-play Star Wars dad account. Make sure to like and subscribe because you love me and you know you want to. Hey, I've been doing this account for 22 months now. I'm falling a little bit behind some of the other accounts I see at similar galactic power levels. Some of the better accounts I see at 4.2 million will have two galactic legends or one galactic legend at Executor. There were some things I wanted to finish on this account. After I did Kylo, I wanted to go get... Um, and we're, <laughs> I wanted to go get my gas, so I've got, I now have, uh, I now have General Skywalker. I don't have the clones geared up, and that might be a little bit of time, but I wanted to get General Skywalker. I wanted to get my Revens, so I have both my Revens, um, on the squad right now. I've taken care of that part of it. There we go. The, the bulk of that team is really like the ones that you really need to succeed. And then I wanted to get my Sith Empire team done. I don't know if I got the team done necessarily. You really could use like Sith Marauder and Sith Empire Trooper in there. I get it. So th that's, but, but so far I got the, I have the, I have the crux of these teams relic up, right? And the final team that I was trying to get done after I did my rush for Supreme Leader Kylo was to get my Rebel team done, my my Commander Luke, 3PO, Chewbacca, Han Solo. And you can see, finally, finally, last month, these guys, Luke, Chewbacca, Han Solo, they were, they were gear 12 down to like gear 9. I got them relic I'm gonna try it right here, guys. On my 22 month update, I am, I'm literally like a couple pieces away Right down here, I need a couple of these Mark VI Athicam med packs, and I've got some energy to farm them with. So let's see if we can make this happen. The last few times I did this, I only got one. So this is where I'm about to convert, finally convert my CLS team all over to Relic right here. Can we make it happen? Yes! I, I hit one on that like the last three times in a row, so I thought maybe I'd have a disaster here in store for you guys. But there we go. There is. There is Chupio, relic up. We're gonna get him to relic three, I think, right here. Yes, relic one. What does he get, by the way? Damage, critical chance, damage, damage, armor, penetration. He just does a lot more damage. Okay, there's two. And here is a three. By the way, I was able to complete the entire, all the way to tier three of the assault battle, the Empire, the Empire assault battle yesterday with my Chupio at gear 12. So I actually got that done gear 12 and only missing one gear piece for 13 So I actually got that done all the way to the the third tier yesterday So let's go ahead and take them off my favorites and let's talk about and demonstrate where we're going from here Now you guys may have noticed something when I saw when I saw him I saw my raptor when I showed my roster a few minutes ago uh, You may have noticed Boba Fett right there at the top Piet right there at the top Um you may have noticed TIE Fighter Pilot IG. All right, so I'm gonna, I need to get Executor. I need to, I'm gonna do a, not a hard right turn, but about a 60 to 70 degree turn towards Executor and also Jedi Master Kenobi. That's where we're going. I need to run, I could take some more time and I could round out my roster to get like more relic levels in my rebels. I could relic like HKs. I've already got him gear 12. I could do my my Sith Empire Trooper. That would make those teams better. But I'm hurting my team. I need to get these. I need to get the Executor, more Galactic Legends. I need to get the Protuberance done. Um, anyway, so I've got Boba Fett here. I just heard his chances for Relic 7 by relicking my, my Chupio, but that's fine. I was expecting that. So I'm working. I've got him at Relic 6 right now. I need to get him to Relic 8. That's that's on work. So I'm working toward Executor. Piet is next on the slate. He's at gear 10, going to gear, or excuse me, gear 11, going to gear 12 very soon. Now here's the thing. I the reason I say it's to 60 to 70 percent turn. I'm gonna finish off this Imperial Trooper team. Piet, Gideon, Veers as the leader with the Zeta, uh, Stark, and Dark Trooper. I'm gonna finish off that team. To, mostly to gear 12. Piet at relic levels is really important. Obviously, I have to have him relic 8 to get Executor. For the most part, though, when these guys get to gear 12, they serve most of their purpose. As long as you have Piet really fast and he goes first, you're going to get ahead of a lot of Relic teams and be able to beat them in Grand Arena. You'll still be able to... I've already got up to Tier 2 of the Rebel Roundup done. Tier 3 can be done with, with Gear 12 Imperial Troopers. So I'm going to get the rest into Gear 12. I'm going to get Piet to Relic. I think I have to get... 
Let me let's take a look at that at that farm. I don't think I got my journey guide picked here, do I? Uh, no, no, no. We don't want that. We want to we want to get out of here. Uh, I need to select. I need to get the executor picked on my journey guide. Let's do this right now. Executor, here we go. So, I need Piet eight. Let's go ahead and begin this journey, right? Piet eight, Boba Fett, Dengar, who I'm still farming shards for, but that's fine because I got a lot of gear anyway. IGD, Imperial Tide Fighter Pilot, and Razor Crest. So yeah, I'm okay. I'm okay. I, I thought maybe I needed like Stark, but I'm thinking of Sith Eternal Emperor there. So, the folks I need. Um, let's let's get in here. Let's get in here and and, and pull this stuff open. Um, bounty hunters. Here we go. So I need to I need to get Dengar clicked as a favorite. Notice I've only got 120. I, actually, I can promote him. I've only got him at five stars right now. Um, I need another 130. I need another 100. Th that you know that's a few weeks. That, that's not that big of a deal. The gear is the biggest deal. But getting those on him. But I've already got uh, Boba Fett there. IJD. I just need to get him geared up. Uh, Bosk. I need to get geared up. Do I? No, I don't need to get Bosk geared up. He's done. Bosk is done. Um, and then it comes down to, it comes down to like getting, uh, getting Beskar Mandalor, right? So I got Greek Karga, I've already got a Relic, I got the Mandalorian at seven stars, um, and as far as my Scoundrels, I have Queel done, and the other ones I'm going to go back up to my main, the, the, the characters I got to get to get Beskar Mando would be a Cara Dune, who I'm going to start farming every day, in fact, let's go ahead and do it right now. I'm going to start farming Cara Dune every day. This is, I need like 160 shards. And if I get, if I average like four or five a day, you're talking a month. That shouldn't be too bad. Um, and then I'm going to, I'm getting IG-11 here. Same deal. I should have him in a month or less here. Uh, eh, maybe a little bit longer for IG-11, but not much longer. And if I'm, if while I'm getting them, I'm working on getting my Piet and Boba Fett geared up. I'm working on getting my uh, Dengar done and getting him geared up. TIE Fighter. So my, my gear up characters would be TIE Fighter Pilot, Dengar, um, Piet, and Boba Fett, right? That's it, isn't it? As far as characters? That's not helpful. What is this? That doesn't really show me much at all, does it? I guess go to the journey guide. Um, so Piet, Boba Fett, Dengar, and IG-88, and TIE Fighter. Yeah. So I don't have that much work to do, really. I mean, Boba Fett, I got a couple relic levels. Piet, I got to get up. Dengar, IG-88, Imperial TIE Fighter Pilot, and Razor Crest. Now, for the Razor Crest, by the way, I've already got 301 of these, but I can't activate because I don't have Beskar Mando. So I will have 330 of these by next month. So what I'll be doing is I buy the blueprints when they're in the, the, um, the Fleet Arena store. So that's, that's, is that five or ten at a time I don't know I'll get that up to where I'm yeah I'll be able to get 20 next month right yeah I'll be able to get 20 next month in a oh, I can't remember the name the the game mode name my gosh I just played it um ah darn you have to tell me I, old man brain I'm telling you what I am I got I'll be able to get 25 I actually need to get 10 more of the of the um, of the Razor Crest shards, and I'll be good to go. I got a really. I'm not that far from starting to farm Executor. I think, I think, I'm gonna say December at the latest January. I'll be able to unlock Executor, and once we do that, then it's time to move toward Jedi Master Kenobi. I need to get this roster time. I'm gonna be moving, so I'm gonna get up my Imperial Troopers, get Executor, and then move to Jedi Master Kenobi. And if we look at that journey, I'm not really in a horrible shape for Jedi Master Kenobi either. So I'm looking at, I need to relic Mace Windu. I've got him at gear 12 right now. There he is, gear 12. So I need to relic him to, what is it? Relic 3, that's fine. Isla Secura, I need to farm in the, uh, let's go and promote her. I need to farm her in the... Uh, in the guild shop too. That's that's a month or that's a month plus. That's no big deal. Uh, Bo Katan. I don't think I do. I ever seven stars. I ever five stars. I need to start doing this farming. I'm not. <laughs> she sucks. Uh, I I mean whatever. I'm sure somebody's gonna tell me each doesn't suck, but that's fine. So I'll get that farming done at some point here along the way. Qui Gon Jin. Um, I've got him at uh, I've got him at gear nine. I just need to get him geared up. Magna Guard. You saw earlier. Um. I've got him gear 12. I just need to finish off the relic there. 
which I've had him close to it a few times. Clone Sergeant Phase 1 is, is going to be just, just, again, just a relic up. I've got him at gear 11. I'll have to take him to gear 12 and then get him relic. That won't be that difficult. Wat Tambor. Now, this is interesting. I've got him at 6 stars, but I'm getting like 30 shards per territory battle right now. So, two more months, I'll have Wat Tambor. Um, I really, I, I feel like I'm not... This is, I mean, Grievous is already relic. There's just going to be a few more relic levels. He's relic three. Need to add four more relic levels. Um, Cad Bane, I'll have to get relic. I think I've got him. Yeah, he's a gear 11. I'm pretty far along on a lot of this stuff. Cody, I'm not far along. I will say Cody is, uh, let's go ahead and take him to seven stars right now while we're talking. Uh, I, I got nothing done on him. But, you know, that'll just be a little work down the road. It's not that big of a deal. Django Fett is relic. I'll just have to add some more relic levels to him. Um, who else do we got down here? Shakti is gear 11, I believe. Yeah, gear 11, so I need to get her up. And then finally, Grandmaster Yoda, relic 8. I think I've got him at 6 right now. Yeah, relic 6. So, again, it's just a couple... I feel like... By December or January, I'll be able, to, be able to unlock the Executor. And then you can know you can only play it monthly um, unless you're going to pay a bunch of crystals to refresh, which I'm not going to be doing. And then I'll be getting on Jedi Master Kenobi. I feel like next spring, March or maybe April, I'll be able to uh, be able to unlock Jedi Master Kenobi. So we're talking the next six months of farming. So over my next six months, I'll be rounding out this Imperial Trooper team and I'll be getting after the Executor and Jedi Master Kenobi and that's where we stand. And I feel like once I've got those guys, I'll be about 4.6, 4.7 million. I'll be in a lot better shape. And then we're just gonna, it'll be just going going for more Galactic Legends, right? I've kind of got all the B teams tuned up. Maybe getting some solo artists. Um, I do have, where is, where is old Wampa here? I've got the Wampa Omicron on. I, I put it on early, but I need to get him geared up as well. Be doing that along the way. Um, and then maybe looking at Savage Press as an Omicron as well. So those would be the, the, the possible sidebars along the way. There's Savage Press. He's only gear seven. So just some stuff to, for me to think about. Oh, I like that. New, is that a new picture? I don't know. I haven't looked at him in a long time. Cool picture. Anyway, so some stuff to think about along the way. We're not going to do him right now because uh, he's got, you know. Anyway, there you go. That's where I am at 22 months with the free-to-play roster. Where am I sitting in Grand Arena? You guys watch me play Grand Arena all the time. Um... I am sitting in a Rhodium 3, which has me firmly toward the middle of the top. I mean, kind of getting there. Once I get Executor, um, I'll probably be able to get be able to get to Kyber 5. Once I get Jedi Master Kenobi, I'm getting I'm I'm gonna be in Kyber. That's gonna be it. I'll be in Kyber. Right now, the kind of matchups I'm seeing all the time in Grand Arena is me at 4 million, and I'm always playing people with two, three, four Galactic Legends in their lineup. They've got seven million galactic power. Here's another one right here. So I kind of just have to get lucky when I'm winning Grand Arena at this point for the most part because I'm outplaying my galactic power by a pretty significant margin. At 4 million, you don't see a lot of people up here in the Erodium levels. That's it, guys. There's my 22-month update. And I know that uh, you guys, you, you always want more, right? You always want more. <laughs> the more! More! Anyway, we will bring more. I'll get you. It'll be really interesting to see as we move forward here what the actual... By the way, like and subscribe, guys. I appreciate all of you hanging in there for the whole videos, all the support you give. Make sure you subscribe to the channel and liking the video. And we got a contest going right now. Make some comments through October 22nd, and, uh, and you'll be entered into a contest to win a free 50-euro gift card. That's what we got. I'll be back with 23 months in another month. You'll see a lot of Imperial Trooper action at 23 months and probably, I'll probably have Boba Fett done. I might even have Piet to Relic 8 by then. Uh, moving straight, I'll definitely, I'll definitely, I'm going to be really close to unlocking BAM, if not right around the corner. I, I feel like, I'm not sure what the date is on the Executor event. It's going to be December or January when I'll get Executor unlocked. So there you go, guys. Have a great day. Enjoy yourself. I'll see you soon. Always remember, nooch too good.